Hello all, this is the Swank. I am taking a look at Planet Nomads. I messed around with it for about four or five hours already, but I kind of want to do a new world. So let's go uh, YouTube. So name the world or custom ID. Oh, you can have a custom world. What's this do? You crash landed on. Everything changes relative based on this parameter. Save biomes. Okay. Altitude deference, water level. Um... What's this? How long the days and nights are. Night speed. Okay. I'm gonna buff... Jump it up a lot. Alright. So, long day, short night. Uh, gathering multiplier... I'm going to up that just so that I can get more resources while I'm showing things off. Let's turn those on. Aggressive flora, weather. Alright, here we go. I thought. Yeah, there we go. So, we're loading in. And I'm going to be playing this for... Somewhere around, oh, 30 minutes or so. And we're just going to see how far I go. Because this is kind of just, uh, it's a little more than a first look. Um, mostly so I could understand the basic concepts of the game. Uh, let's see. We, looking out at the stars, scientists receive an inexplicable signal from constellation Eridanus. Uh, research suggests existence of nearby exoplanets, possibly capable of sustaining organic life. <laughs> Commercial vessel and Tia enters Eridanus' system, searching blah blah blah. However, destructive anomalies damage the ship and survivors are forced to escape. So, our ship crash. And we're stuck on the planet. So this, this, it's, it feels a lot like, um, uh, the ocean game. Uh, crap, how, how can I forget that? Well, I don't own it. You two escape the pod. Walk up here and look around. Not bad. Okay. We got some stuff here. Batteries, sleeping bag, mission data. All right. So basically learn some stuff, and oh wow, there's a bunch of markers nearby. Okay. And I've got my little laser beam thing here that lets me harvest. Alright, am I still harvesting back in here? Nope, that's just dirt. Okay. Can I harvest this? Oh no, I've created a world hole. I have done bad. Okay. Uh, what is this? Appears to be plant life. Oh! Oh no! I don't know what that was, but they were they they're not friendly. 
That bug swarm. Alright, so press 1 to patch myself up. Okay. Nutrient capsule. Purified water. Alright, so. You are in a well fed state. There we go. You are well rested. Good hydration secured. Yay. So I'm food and watered. Um, I wonder if there's any resources on this rock. I didn't appear to get any resources off of this. Okay. Hey, there's a rock that looks like it'll have resources. Oh wow, that was a lot. Okay. So once I get a little bit more resource, I'll, uh, I'll start putting together a, a little structure for myself. Oh, come on. I need to harvest this faster. good place to call home. I'm not seeing many scary say oh no 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 uh, the bug saw me alright I think I'm safe from the bugs or am I nope 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 Now, apparently, from what I've discovered, those things go away. Um, Extreme temperature warning. Later. Oh, dear. Extreme temperature warning. I don't really have much of an option at this point. Alright, so... Let me throw these in here. want like four of those and we want four of those. Ooh, that one gave me a lot of iron. Temperature shield nearly depleted. That's not good. Alright, so we got this, we got that, and let's build a base foundation. I was only planning two, so, well, should I do two or three, or four? Let's do four. Oh, I don't have the stuff for four. But yeah, okay. Uh, there's this. Okay. So, I thought I had enough stuff for that. No, not one of those. One of these. Temperature warning. Okay, so I I got my foundations done. Now that I built that, voila, bio generator, which I feel is a rather odd 
thing to have come up after as your next thing, but okay. Two electronics and what's here? Two of these. Now my goal in this is going to be to get a vehicle. I don't know how well this is going to work out, but that's my goal. And who knows, if people enjoy this, I may do more on this. Alright, so it needs fuel, which is tree. There we go. I got tree. Alright. There we go. So it has fuel. But what do I power with it? Uh, ooh, I need a switchboard. That way I can power other things with it. Uh, what does a switchboard need? One of those. One of those. And one of these. I'm going to put my switchboard um, oh, right there. Because to me, that looks like a, a piping system. Okay, so I got that. I can have a compact container, a compact fad machine. So... Bad machine must be food and drink. So, uh, three of these. Two of these. So, I need to go get more of that. There we go. Uh, grab this, toss it in. Yep. Hurry up, build. solar beacon, I have small, uh, compact container, reinforced wall. Well, reinforced wall. Uh, let's see, what do I need for this? Two of these, and two of these. It's night time. Yep. The bees are asleep. Meaning I can harvest this. So, 
grab this. Throw the resources in. Pull the resources out. And nine. Now this is something I have yet to figure out, but how to... I know how to get the rotation axis shifted. I don't know how I change the actual rotation. So because that's been frustrating. All right, so I have reinforced wall, medium 3D printer. All right, so what do I need for medium 3D printer? I need two of these. I need two of these. I need two of these. And I need two of those. So, I need more wood. Is that something I can harvest? I don't think so. I think that's just dirt. There we go. So I got resources. Uh, toss these in here. Toss that. So, let's put... See, I, like I said, I, I'm not sure from here how I rotate the structure. My best bet it, so far has been rotate how I'm standing. Because I probably wanted it the other way or something. Because these look like piping tubes and I'm not entirely sure how that's all going to work. Um... Well, that's something I probably should look at. What's this? Item dispenser. Okay. Compact container. Let's do two doughs and two doughs. Yay, this is going well. Alright, um, what are, what are, I wanted these, so, um, radar, stasis chamber, um, that ceiling panel, so I need a ceiling panel, there's a ceiling panel, um, a stasis chamber, compact armory. I do not see anything that looks like a compact armory. Uh, medium fab, large container, compact med bay, compact armory, ceiling panel. Okay. Uh, let's build a couple more of those and a couple more of those because I need a ceiling panel. So, I was going to put, okay, see, I mean, we got pipey stuff here. I'm hoping that means these two things interconnect. Yeah, it looks like it connected. Yeah, okay. That's, that's great. Did I gain anything new from that? New. That sucks. Alright, let me grab this. This. Actually, let me just grab everything out of here. And eat you. And you. Let's put everything in here.
sewing panel. Right? No, not you are a ceiling panel. It's not wanting to work. I think that worked. Don't know if it's square or not. It looks sort of square-ish. It's not square. Okay, but whatever. I have jack tool now. Alright, uh, this is something that... Connect electricity. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. There we go. I'm using power. This is powered. Yay. Um, and now I can build other things. Such as... I wanted a jack tool. Compact Armory, I don't know. Let's let's take a look at that. So, what do I need? Uh, I have one, so I need four of those. I need two of those. I need three of these. Need three of these, and I need six of these. All right, need more resource. I'm actually, right now, at the 30 minute time that I said I was going to call it. So, what I'm probably going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up with the assumption that I'm going to be coming back, and I'm actually going to do a proper video following this, well, more proper, uh, just messing around in here. So. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, go ahead, like, subscribe, all the normal YouTube crap. And then I will be back uh, in a bit with more video. Actually, I'll be back tomorrow with more video, so I will see you then. Until then, bye bye